hello guys welcome or welcome back to my channel so in this video i've already told you that in this video i'll make i'll tell you how you can make the checklist app using thunkable so let's get started first open thunkable and create a new project name is that name it as you like that checklist app it is the checklist app okay So now let's create. It is created. So first, I'll tell you the design. So in the design, all you need is. So here I have three columns, and in the first column, I'll put a label. In the second column, I'll put a row. And in the row, I will put a text input. First, I put a button. Then I have text input. And the second column, we will take the height as fit contents. Okay. Of the row and the column also has fit contents. Now we will name the label. my checklist or you can name as you wish now you can change the properties now set again the height as foot contents you can increase the size, height, width, font, size, font color and the radius of the button also now. Name the button as add. Okay. Now in the third column we will put a list viewer. And now we will search for real time DB. No, not real time DB. We will search for yes real time DB. Now we will add it in the invisible components. Now open another tab and type Firebase. Now open Firebase. Then click on go to console. Now click. now click on create a project now type the project name like this is checklist app now click on the accept the file system now continue now you will know the disable the google and elastics for this project you will disable this because if you will enable lots you will face a lot of problem now creating project it is creating project is now you can see project is created now click on continue now just go to here checklist tab as the starting now go to this third option web now name your app. Now don't use this, okay? Also set up fire posting, fire base. Don't enable this. Now click on continue to console. Now go to now click on build and go to real time database. Here you can see. Now click on create database and take it as the this United States US Central one. 
Now click on start and test mode. Okay. So it is created. Now again go to the project overview and add app. Then again web. Then now register again. Or you can simply create first the database and then register. Now you can see the database URL and the API key. Now go to Thunkable and click here settings. And scroll down. You can see Firebase settings API key and database URL. Copy paste them from here. like here as the database URL also now you have taken all the de design now let us code so get set code so first you need to do is go to the button one and take this first block one button one is clicked now go to real time db and take this second block called real time db one save now in the key we will write my 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 date okay or you can write my function or you can uh, like write event or anything like my date is the perfect now in the value go to the text input one and from there take this eight block text inputs text okay now go to the list viewer then take this uh, second block Now, before starting the next coding, now go to variables and take the first block initialize app variable name. Now, instead of name, type here list. List and now go to list and select the second block empty list. Okay, now I have gone to the variable and take this fifth block app variable list and place it here. I have placed it. So you can see and now go to the list and take this block and list insert at last as ABC now in the empty put this app variable list and as in place of last make it as first and as ABC in place of ABC from there here you can duplicate this and you can paste this here now let us code the another block now go to real time db and take this first block when real time db data change now again go to the list and list insert at first in place of last first and here from there take this value and insert it here in place of abc and from in list here take app variable list now take set list viewers text set list viewers text item to app variable list okay now let us code when screen one opens now what happens what is happened when screen one is opened Go to screen one. So when screen one is opened, go to the real time DB and take this block add listener. Call real time DB's add listener and in place of this empty key here, type my date. Now I have told that we will also add one feature. Now app our app is ready. 
that I showed you in the last video without that remove button. Okay, now we will add a remove button also. For this, you have to change a little bit of design. Take a, another column and go there, close this column and put this column here. Now take a button. And the column set height to fit contents and the button name it as remove all okay now let us go to uh, back to the design now from here it is button 2 so when button 2 is clicked when button 2 is clicked now we will go to list viewer set list viewer, viewer text items 2 now go to logics and take a last block null so when this button is clicked null means nothing is there on the desired component nothing is there so when this button is clicked the text items will be set to null means nothing will be there in the text items so now let us live test this and don't close, close that firebase now First, I'll tell you of the Firebase. Now, continue to console. Now, go to the real-time database from here. And this type of screen will appear. Now, uh, it is coming. So, this screen has come. Now, I'll type hello. You can type any note or anything. So when I click on add, it is added. Now when I click on remove all, see, nothing is there. Okay, now, hello. Now you have removed from here, but now if you check the real time Firebase, the hello is here only, my date, you have named, the, it has my date here. See, so it is my date. You can type my or nothing, you can type test, null, like that, your name or any special date. That's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed this. So bye. See you in the next video. Till then, stay home, stay safe.